Hi, I'm Ali from the University of Bath and my project is aerosol jet printed P and N type semiconductor materials, practical routes to printed electronics. Semiconductors are an important class of materials with applications ranging from thermoelectrics, photovoltaic cells and thin film transistors. Thin films are the most diversely usable form of semiconductors. There are many established thin film fabrication methods present in industry and research, such as chemical vapour deposition and flame spray pyrolysis. The main deposition method for this project is aerosol jet printing. Aerosol jet printing is an emerging area of technological interest in the electronics industry, in part due to the high resolution printing achieved at low cost and with low material waste. To create thin films using aerosol jet printing, first, a functional ink is aerosolised before being transported to the deposition head using an inert carrier gas. The beam in the deposition head is collimated and undergoes aerodynamic focusing, and finally the ink is ejected and impacts the substrate. During this project, we will develop routes to semiconducting precursor materials that can add functionality to inks and subsequently be deposited by aerosol jet printing. Researchers looking for higher functionality at lower costs and metal oxide and charcoal guide materials are a promising candidate for this. There is currently a lack of available high performance p-type oxide materials and being able to access these would significantly increase applications. The initial focus will be on the deposition of tin monooxide which is p-type as a result of tin 2 plus vacancies. The proposed project plan has four main stages, material synthesis, material analysis, ink formulation and deposition. The first material will be this tin oxo cluster, which has been previously proposed for the chemical vapour deposition of tin monooxide. We will then be able to use this approach to synthesise other oxo or chalcogonide clusters by changing the metal, group 16 element and alkoxide ligand. The next stage involves material analysis to confirm the identity and properties of the material. This will involve using NMR, single crystal diffraction and thermogravimetric analysis. The synthesised material will then be incorporated into inks as a pigment before being deposited using a dimatic DMP inkjet printer on a number of different substrates. The resulting thin films will be analysed by powder X-ray diffraction, UV vis and AFM. Through this work we should be able to not only develop materials with high hole mobility but also provide a robust framework for aerosol jet printing which is currently lacking and has hindered the widespread adoption of this technique in industry.